Ahem. Hi guys, it's me Canella and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys everything I know about base tracking. So this is a full comprehensive video of like all the things I know, all the tips I know, uh, my setup and everything. I feel like face tracking is still kind of new and obviously it like adds a layer to VR videos or like VTubing or like anything if you're interested in things like that. It just makes you look way more personable like you see me but so this is no face tracking at all. You see I feel like obviously I still look cute but it just adds another layer to everything so. You can like see where I'm looking, you can see my eyes dilating and all that stuff. So yeah. So if you're interested in that, then stick here, give this video a thumbs up and blah, 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 blah. So firstly, I will start with, I will start with my setup. So I use a Quest Pro and I use, I use a Quest Pro. I have full body tracking, but um, I use a Quest Pro for my face tracking and also hand tracking. So the thing about the Quest Pro, it has uh, four cameras, two at the top and two at the bottom. With those cameras, you're able to see your entire face. It also has cameras in the front, so you can use hand tracking, which is why I really like this headset. A lot of people don't like it because the comfort level is not that great, but I think beauty is pain, so... Obviously, the hand tracking still needs some work. I feel like if you're getting this headset, it would not be for the hand tracking because the hand tracking, not the best. <laughs> ah, see, look. <laughs> As for the face tracking, I think the face tracking is really good. Now, how good your face tracking is, it depends on the avatar itself. So, as for my avatar, I created my own avatar. This is my personal avatar. So I added face tracking to it. And you can customize your face tracking on your own. Um, but we'll get into that next. So back to the Quest Pro. I think there are a couple of different headsets that have face tracking right now. One being obviously this headset. And then another one being the Viso. I think it's not the Viso. Uh, Pico. The Pico. The Pico Pro has space tracking. So that's another headset if you want to try that one. In addition to that one, I also had a Vive facial PC Vive facial tracker. Um, I could not get it to work, so I never used it. I believe they discontinued some of the software for it to make it compatible with the Quest. And since I only had a Quest headset, I never got anywhere with it. I still have it, but it doesn't work. Yes, so those two headsets you can use for face tracking. And in addition to that, you will also need the VR face tracking app. I don't know any other app that you can use that will work with OWOSC, which is the VR chat integration for like, um, you know, stuff that you need to use that's outside of VR chat. So like tracking and stuff like that. I don't know any other app besides vr face tracking networks um vr face tracking has like three different types of setups that you can use for like the style of face tracking that you want i'm using ue which is unified expressions this is just like it's just like the standard uh, face tracking so it just does um standard stuff so like blinking winking smiling frowning Stuff like that once you get both of those uh you just turn on the settings on your quest pro which it'll say like um allow there i'm sorry it's a setting in steam vr it says to allow eye tracking um it's two settings so it says allow eye tracking one's allow face tracking eye tracking you click both of those on and then you turn on we are face tracking at the same time and bam that's literally it it's very simple that is pretty much it for the setup <laughs> now as for avatars so i feel like it's pretty hard to find avatars with face tracking because it or let's not say that you can find them but as for good quality it's kind of hard if you can see here in my avatar world i have one 
Um, but there aren't that many. So yeah, um, I've made a couple and I published a couple on my, my storefront also, because I'm just like, I think it's so cool to like communicate with people with the face tracking in VR, because this is like as, as immersive as you get being in VR is definitely different. And then of course, like talking to you guys, I love to like do the face thing and it brings my, my animation to life. So that's why I love it and like invest in it but I feel like eventually it's gonna be better avatars and they're gonna be more easily makeable and accessible maybe I don't know unless it's just like a thing that just like doesn't go for I guess just for the rest of the video I'll show you guys some of my avatars and then we can do like testing and like trying different facial expressions and if you guys have questions you can leave them below I feel like people are thinking like oh like how to get into it you pretty much just buy a headset set it up it's very easy and then oh i guess the last thing i'll say um where i got my headset i got my headset from offer up i bought it online from someone second hand and it was about four hundred dollars right now you could buy a new headset for about like eight hundred dollars i think um yeah but that's it. So let's try out some of these avatars. But yeah, you can make all kinds of expressions. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this video because people always ask me about it and I try to answer like all the questions that I get on it. Um, if you have more, leave them below and I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Or you can join my server if you ever want to talk to me like ASAP because I'm always in my Discord. But I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's kind of like short and random, but I hope you love it. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, amazing, awesome day evening night whatever bye